All right, let's do crazy town, though. <laughs> Biden was out and about spewing uh, nonsense today in New York, no less. Kathy Hochul was the warm-up act. I went through her speech, couldn't find one thing to even use. Uh, but the, when they brought Biden out after Hochul talked, Gillibrand talked, that lunatic Bowman talked, and then Biden came out, and well, let's just say it didn't get off to a, uh, <clears throat> well, to a great start. Roll it. It is my privilege to introduce to you our president of the United States of America, Joe Biden. All right. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Joe. He, they announced you, Joe. They already announced hello, you. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, hey. There he is. <laughs> Ooh. Oops. I have one question. What Oops. What position did you play? Huh? And she's helping New York lead the way, making things in America. And I mean, oh. making things in America, not importing them, making them. Any educate, any any state that out educates us, any country that out educates us, is going to outcompete us. You may remember, in the State of the Union, I got our Republican colleagues to agree somewhat spontaneously. <laughs> <laughs> My son went to Iraq for a year, was one of the healthiest guys in his outfit. Came back with stage four glioblastoma, having lived just a couple, less than a quarter mile from one of those major burn pits. It's unusual language we use with presidents these days. They say I'm lying when I say that. I'm not being solicitous. What we should be doing, and I'm proposing when I try to finish this job, and proposing that we, for example, if we start instead of Head Start, which they want to cut 21,000 Head Start spots in this, this state alone, we should be sending, Nuts. all the studies show that if we sent, no matter what the background of a child, if we sent that child to a school at age three, learning reading, writing, and arithmetic, through age three and four and five, we end up increasing by 56% the chance they'll graduate from high school. I believe in cutting spending and cutting the deficit. Was that a question? One, didn't, one part didn't kick until January 1. We said the price of insulin and other drugs, the, the price of insulin would be reduced to $35. How, let me put this How many of you know someone with type 1 or 2, <laughs> but type one or type 2 diabetes? No one earning less than $400,000 is going to see a single penny in increase in their taxes under me. Not a single penny. They haven't yet and they won't. Just not... I'm not talking about 70% tax rates. Go ahead. No, I'm, I'm being deadly earnest. I'm not being a wise guy. Republicans have been consistent for the last out. 10 years cutting the number of IRS agents. I wonder why. Typical middle class family. My dad, we lived in a three bedroom split level home. And a, oh, and a, I boy. look back on and wonder how thin those walls were for my mom and dad. But anyway. And how many of, you know, you know like I, I said, for, 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 uh, taking on climate change, you know people who come from the people like, for example, up in Scranton where I came from. You just have to remember who in God's name we are. We're the United oh, States of America. There is nothing, nothing lawn. beyond our capacity if we work together. God bless you all and may God protect our troops. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We got to fight. We're going to win this fight. Thank you. Uh-oh. Oh, where do I go? Uh, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. He, he's got it. Oh, oh man. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. That Biden really is stupid. <laughs> oh, that's an understatement. <laughs> oh. oh, boy. Good oh. gravy. Good gravy is oh, right. That was Man. that was one of the most nonsensical run-on sentences. If anybody should have been, he should still be in elementary school.